This Postler Vantorie mail collection box has been heavily vandalized with graffito. A closer inspection reveals two bullet holes in the front. A faint sticker on the side reads, RCM Emergencies Desk Number 8102, with a slogan, Mankind Be Vigilant. The box seems happy. Eat shit pig, fucked by the coon, and sent G with a crown have been scribbled on it. Jenny is a whore and best set mailbox also. The mail collection box seems cathartic, thankful even. So do you. You shudder, then you swallow, and then suddenly you see it. Over all the other graffitos, someone has using the tip of a very sharp knife, cut the words, Revachon forever. But the documents inside the envelope still lack the required signatures. It's not going to be that easy. We need to dirty our hands with the signatures. I assume that's the goal here. Take the legal documents out of the envelope. A 12 to 40 month construction period and the zone in place. You take the legal documents out of the envelope. A 12 to 40 month construction period and the zone in plan in the addendum. I'm no property lawyer, but it looks fine. I like the print size. They're not selling or leasing anything. It's not a perfect solution, but. How else are you going to build something? It's always inconvenient to build things, and citizens inevitably have disagreements over such construction projects. But there's no other way. Take the legal documents out of the envelope. A 12 to 40 month construction period and the zoning plan in the addendum. There is no loophole. The simple truth is, the current residents are going to lose their street access and for the next 12 to 40 months, their lives will be dominated by constant construction noise right next door. Once the construction starts, it'll probably take a few months, a year maybe, for even the most stubborn occupants to get tired of living like this. After that, they'll sell their property for cheap and move out. I should have seen it. Evra probably has eyes on us, but we could try to get other people to sign this instead of those listed. Or you could forge their signatures yourself. By the time he finds out, we'll already be gone. You take the legal documents out of the envelope. A 12 to 40 month construction period and the zoning plan in the addendum. With a confident flourish, you complete your forgery. What do you see on the signature line? Indeed, they look distinctly different and very convincing. These might as well be their actual signatures. But they're not, and the document will be nullified if they dispute it. That means Everard will have to start over. All you need to do now is mail the signatures to Everard's accountant in La Delta. There was a mail delivery box in the plaza, near the corner of the bookstore. Mr. Dubois, every worker? That's right, Mr. Dubois. I see the socialist democratic fervor now burns in your heart, too. How can I help you today? What? Did I? Well done then, Harry. I like not knowing about it, and I'm sure you made the right call. I spend the whole day delegating tasks, and it's a great relief to see people taking initiative. I don't even want to know what all of that means. Brew, shady, alcohol, turned off. I'm gonna let the world surprise me. 
The golden boy returns once more. Wonderful. Simply wonderful, Harry. Of course. I already knew this. My friend, the mailman, confirms the letter is on its way. You've done a great thing today. You've given the children of Martinez a real future, Harry, and I feel I can finally trust you now. You're in my inner circle. You too, Mr. Kitsuragi. We can talk about anything. The strike, the murder, your lost gun, nothing is off the table. See, forging that signature really paid off. Well done, sire. By guile and deceit, you're in. You don't know his full plan. Perhaps he expected trickery. Perhaps the signatures weren't important. The point is, do not think you're ahead of him. I did not, Harry. Although I am very, very glad he's dead. Why a war, of course. And what do you have to gain from a war? Victory, Mr. Kitsuragi. I have victory to gain. We are going to start a war with the Wild Pines group and win before they even realize there is a war. I have. It's a great story, Harry. Did you also know how the bee colony kills the giant hornet? They swarm and blanket it entirely until it suffers a massive heat stroke and dies. He crosses his hands contently, thinking of the interior temperature of the wasp rising. They cook it alive in its exoskeleton. Harry, we outnumber them 1500 to 1, and that's just Martin A's. With all the unions in Revachol, and with public opinion on our side, we can hold off two men, or 15 men, or even 50 men. The more they send, the worse it's going to look for them. They made a huge mistake hiring those guys. No one likes foreign mercenaries. The leftists hate them, the fascists hate them, even the moralists think they're in bad taste. You're not an ultra-liberal, Harry. Get the fuck out of here. Don't be a retard. Harry, there is no strike, only war. Class war. Or, in business terms, a dawn raid. Or wait. Is that when you still pay them something? Because we won't do that. We're not gonna give nothing. We're gonna take Terminal B away from them. The roads, the gates, the containers, that big crane, even the damn coffee maker. We're gonna take all of it for the people and fuck Wild Pines. The word fuck rings like a gunshot from his mouth. He doesn't swear often. So that's why you haven't let Joyce in? Yes. It's also why I let that midget Gourmand go. He's too nice. I can't put him through this. Plus, he knows how to get in here. That woman can't tell her tits from her arsehole. She has no chance. Tits from her arsehole. It's a local saying. Actually, no, it's not. Because we're friends, Harry. Besides, it doesn't matter now. You can go tell her if you want. It won't change the course of events. We have a significant head start. It's already happening. Two thousand three hundred and seventy-two. Plus yours truly, of course. Two thousand three hundred and seventy-three is a sizable contingent for a labor organization in Revachol. And they're all well motivated. At least the ones you've seen. Oh, you mean what sort of goods are going to be flowing through? How am I going to replace all the contacts we'll lose once the poo-poo hits the fan? The clients will ditch us. 
Harry, we've thought of everything. Clients would take a well-known multinational conglomerate over a local mobster any day. Sure, some will go, but mark my words. The company will be unpleasantly surprised to see how many of them stay loyal to Martin A's and to the new competitive contracts we can offer. With renewed zeal sparked by communal ownership, the men will be shipping those containers double time. You'll be surprised to see how fast things go without parasites latching on. We'll have our hands free to pursue bold exotic new revenue streams. That's drugs. Drug trafficking. Drug trafficking? Don't be stupid, Mr. Kitsuragi. There are perfectly legal, 100% ethical chemical factories on the Samarin Isola. You don't need to be colonialist about it. All they do is produce components to keep the pharmaceutical industry running. That's people's health we're talking about. Old grannies, little babes, people with disabilities. Wow, a neurochemical, psychoactive labor uprising stroke hostile takeover. The company thinks transporting these chemicals in bulk looks bad, has bad optics, may be illegal in some countries. The Debardes Union, however, we're all about the large volume column. In bulk shipping, large volume column is a major buyer, a shark. We're gonna transport the living daylights out of those materials, Harry. So your sick kid can get his benefit and your wacky uncle doesn't have to come off Risperazol. Benefit is a children's cold medicine, usually apricot flavored, and Risperazol is used to treat severe psychosis. And the kids on the street can get speed and pyrolidon. I'm an old-fashioned guy, Mr. Kitsuragi. I sometimes grab a beer with the boys, but I have no idea about the things you just mentioned. But if I were to supply ingredients for some sort of rainbow party, I would make sure the Union took a fantastic share, and I'd keep that stuff far away from Martin A's. He's basically admitting to it. Yes, yes, of course. And while you're doing that, please go ahead and also tell the Wild Pines. I want to hear them squeal from the indignity. Nothing in his features betrays any concern. Anyway, let's not focus on the sensationalism of the drug trade. This hypothetical drug trade is all anyone ever seems to be interested in. It would only be a small part of the harbour's turnover, just like the harbour is, but a small part of Martin A's. Let's look at the big picture. Martin A's as a whole. There are little girls out there with dreams of making music. Young mothers who want to start businesses. Models who want to walk catwalks and steel welders who want to weld steel. I'm gonna unite them all into one economic body. We're gonna incorporate this place to kingdom come. Everyone's gonna be in on the wealth and everyone's gonna pull their weight. Let's keep focusing on the drug trade. He was almost admitting to it. No, no, Harry. That's boring. All right, it's gone. The hypothetical raw materials trade is off the table. It's such a small and insignificant slice of revenue, I'm cutting it. Boys. Harry felt queasy about it. We're not doing it. Can we talk about my beautiful incorporated Martin A's and its many-sided business ventures now? This bold new vision of incorporated socialism I'm offering? Harry, the future I have in store for Martin A's will have all the macho aesthetics you love so much. The crowns, the guns. I will even slip in a skull and bones for you, my friend. Oh, yeah. 
Skull and bones. Skull and bones on the Revisholian flag. The Revisholian death squad. Oh yeah, the visual image has completely bedazzled you. You're 100% with Everard now. Harry, by now you should know I would never do anything tricky like that. However, if the construction noise and limited street access make some people consider moving... Well, let's just say there'll be freshly renovated buildings near the roundabout where those poor people can finally enjoy a significant uptick in quality of life. I'm talking real affordable workers' palaces. He proudly spreads his hands to demonstrate the size of the palaces. They're very large. So the village is doomed. You were there. You saw the place. A wasteland. There's nothing left. But mark my words, officers. We are going to reset it. Reset. I have big plans for Martinez. And they do not include humans living in those pig sheds on the coast. That land will be used for municipal buildings and commerce. Harry, imagine a youth centre supermarket church complex. Employing hundreds, no, thousands of people. The coast will be lit up with enterprise and life. All those ruins out there turned into low-income housing. Harry, enough is enough. We're taking this district back. The war was 50 years ago, for God's sake. It's time to move on. Yes, I do. I got the center, I got room for a retail complex, and in four years, I'll get the church too. The wheels are already turning, Harry. The wheels of progress. This post-war limbo, I won't stand for it. There are kids practically playing with their own feces out there. It cannot go on. There is true indignation in his voice when he speaks about the state of things, and even a touch of pain. The pain is true. He's seen kids do worse than that. And then there will be a giant statue of him towering above it all. I'm not a symbolist, Harry. I'm a realist. My statue will be Martinez rebuilt. Five-story building complexes, kids off speed, and landowners in a zone hating me. That will be my statue. And yours. We're doing this together. You would look nice as a statue. Damn right I'm up to something, Harry. I'm gonna make the working man as rich as Joyce Messier. That's my job. Just like yours is to keep the peace. A true flash of anger in him, as he thinks of her. We're way past specific union members now. This is the big time. We're talking about the future of Revachol here, Harry. You can bother Leonard with that. He loves to run his mouth on such matters. But I'm in big time mode, Harry. There's something different about him now. He's more vibrant more alive in his big-time mode. Harry, I've got to be honest with you. Your gun was found two days ago. Withholding this information weighed heavily on me, but it had to be done. Your gun is with an old woman. I hear she's a character, so watch out. This must be the woman who bought the gun from Roy, the one he described as terrifying. Yes, the same one. I see you've done your research. The pawn shop made the gun easy to track. Crazy stuff, Harry. Selling your gun like that? Wild. Anyway... Union Boy's gonna help you fix it. He winks at you. Don't worry, Harry. The neighbours of this old woman contacted my men because they trust me and the Debardeurs Union. Apparently, she was waving it around at the entrance to her building. Waving the gun around doesn't sound good. None of this does. As I said, she's a character. I didn't have time for details. It sounds like she's unstable, but don't worry. No one got hurt. 
It sounds like a very disturbed and desperate individual. We might be looking at someone with a medical history here. Watch out. Unstable is good, actually. She will be easier to disarm. No, wait. Actually, unstable is pretty bad. Unfortunately, I don't know anymore. You're gonna have to go in blind, Harry. But she's an old lady. How dangerous can she possibly be? Oh, and she calls herself the Pigs. There it is again. The Pigs. Like Roy said, not good at all. I, for one, find it refreshing. Finally, someone calls themselves a pig. It actually sounds extremely bad, but let's not give him the satisfaction. I already have. Tonight, starting 10 o'clock, Near the old fish market on the coast, the one on the boardwalk, a little past the fishing village. Be careful, Harry. I would never set you up for anything dangerous, but you did ask for this. Now, back to the fun stuff. She will be there from 2200 hours till 0200 hours. More fun stuff. Seems like we already have fun stuff to do. Great, Harry, great. I think we have truly built a bridge between Martinez and Jamrock today. We have united the RCM and the Debardeurs Union. This has been so great. I'm sorry we don't have more fun things to do together, but if you ever feel like bouncing something off me, my door is always open. Most certainly, Harry. By all means, Harry. I'm always happy to educate and entertain you, my friend. So, what's on your mind? Very nice, Harry. Is there anything else? <laughs>